JBN, we keep you informed. Clarendon residents, the man the bridge after 11 year old's death. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. It was an emotional scene Tuesday morning as residents of Savannah Cross Clarendon stood with placards at the entrance to the community nearby the Bustamante Highway. The protest came following the death of another child from the community who was hit down by a truck. Enough is enough, came the cry from one resident, who said too many children are losing their lives trying to cross the road. The child, 11-year-old Adriana Rowe, student of Cross Primary and Infant, died on her way home from school. According to eyewitness reports, the driver of a vehicle stopped to allow her to cross. Adriana was hit by a truck and her body dragged meters away before the vehicle stopped. For Jacqueline Goldburn, who was also at the scene, it was deja vu. As three years and five months to death, her daughter Abigail was killed by a motorist at the same general location. Abigail was going to school on the 6th of October when the car hit her down and she was left by the roadside and they left her there. She died like a dog. We were promised an overhead bridge and it never happened, she said. For Goldburn, the death zone was filled with too many memories. I know it's not the first time or the second time Goldburn asked before bursting into tears. Do we have to lose another child? Do we have to? Rudyard Spencer, MP for Clarendon Southeastern, while expressing his concern about the situation, implored irate residents to listen carefully. He promised that he would organize the establishment of a crosswalk with a uniformed person escorting the children across the road. The children that keep dying don't have to cross the road, whether or not they can cross. We're not even leaving it to the mothers and grandmothers. We're going to provide a uniformed person to pick up the children and take them across, he said, adding that the long-term vision was for the construction of an overhead bridge. But for Goldburn, that is little consolation, as she said that same promise was made to her three years ago. All we're asking for is a safe bridge. Not only children, but big persons lose their lives over the years. All we're asking for is help, is the plea from Kanai, a resident of the community. The driver of the truck in question turned himself into the Maypen police. He was warned for prosecution and his statement taken. Why is it that these politicians have to be so reactive? Three years ago, he killed one picnic and then promised one bridge. And all I know, you tell me now, so you're, you're put on crosswalk for walking picnic across the highway. Hmm. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.